Hello, welcome to JavaScript tutorial, chapter 5, Tools for Learning JavaScript, brought to you by Anpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn the tools required to learn JavaScript, websites that help to write and test the JavaScript, and finally, we are going to learn about the Visual Studio Code. Right now, let us understand the tools required to learn JavaScript. All we actually need is a text editor like Notepad and the browser of your choice. You can select Chrome, Internet Explorer or Firefox. In the sense, if you wish to work with JavaScript, then you should be having two things with you. One is text editor and the browser. Okay, And here we have got a bit of HTML with the JavaScript code. Within the body section, we have a H1 element. Following that, we have a script element. Okay, whatever the JavaScript code we write should be enclosed within the script tag or script element. Okay, and along with the script element, we have got a type attribute you can observe here, and the value to this type attribute is text bar JavaScript. In the sense, within the script element, we are going to write the JavaScript code. Okay, if that attribute is not specified or it's absent, by default, the script will be treated as the JavaScript. Okay. And also you can observe here, we have one line of JavaScript to code. Basically, we are using the alert function. We will understand about the alert function in the coming session. But now keep in mind, this alert function is going to just display a message in the alert box. In the sense, now when I run this piece of code in the browser, okay, uh, we are going to get an alert box with the message telling like, welcome to JavaScript tutorial. Now let's see a demo of that. Now what I'll do is, I'll, I've already copied this piece of HTML present here. Now I'll open the notepad. Now I'll paste it. Now, now let me save this. And here I'll save it as demo.html. You can save it, save it with the HTML or HTML extension you can observe here save it with a HTM or HTML extension and open the saved file with your favorite browser and now let me navigate to the folder where I've saved it okay I've saved it in a yeah I've saved it here okay this is the uh, file what I've named demo.html by default my browser is Chrome browser so it's getting that symbol now when I double click on that okay we are going to get an alert box with the message telling like welcome to JavaScript tutorial okay and also we got JavaScript training from Hank Pro Technologies this is what this is what present here you can observe very clearly alert welcome to JavaScript tutorial and this is the editing tag currently it got displayed now let me refresh and show you again welcome to JavaScript tutorial in the alert box and the text h1 on the web page okay and this is what we learned like with the help of notepad and the browser we executed the javascript code okay and coming to the next slide now we are going to learn the other set of thing that is websites that help to write and test the javascript i told you in the earlier slide if you wish to work with the javascript you should be having these things like text editor or browser and also you can work javascript visiting these websites okay and here are a few, I've listed a few websites like uh, jsbrill.net or jsbin.com. These two websites are very helpful where you can write and test the JavaScript. But I found that J jsbin is one of the websites. It's very useful to write and test the JavaScript because it has two reasons. Like one is it provides the IntelliSense and autocomplete features. And also, uh, if you type the partial name of the function, then you press the tab key, it's going to provide you the complete function name. Okay, now let me show you a demo of this. Now let me open my browser and let me visit that URL jsbin.com and here we will get this. You can observe here very carefully. And now, okay, this is the HTML file present here. Now I'll type a h1 tag here and now I'll tell like hello. You can observe here as soon as I typed hello here, we're getting output in this right side window. Okay, now I want to write a bit of JavaScript code. How do I do that? It's very simple. In this menu, you can you should click on the JavaScript and here you have to write the JavaScript code. Now what I'll write is, I'll just call the alert function and I'll display a message called hello world in the alert box. So I need to call the alert, alert function and within that alert function, I'll type like hello world and now 
when I click this run with JS, we'll get a dis alert box with the message hello world. You observe very carefully. Yeah, we got it. And this is what the advantage of using this jsbin.com where you can write and execute the JavaScript code. Similarly, uh, you can visit this site also jsfiddle.net but I found this jsbin.com is very helpful because it provides these things like in a sense it provides intelligence. For example, let me show you that. Uh, it's very simple. You can observe very clearly. Let me show you another example. Now let me take uh, another adding tag and to this adding tag what I'll do is I'll take a empty one and to this adding tag I'll attach a ID ID name is demo okay now what I need to do is um, I'll tell like Hank Pro Technologies and now my objective is I want to copy this text in the sense I want to uh, make this text print in the alert box Okay, how do I do that? How, how do I write my JavaScript co code for that? It's very simple. Within the alert function, I need to call a document. Currently, you can observe, I have typed only doc. And now when I press tab, it gives me autocomplete feature in the sense, I did not complete the sentence. I did not complete the word. I just typed doc and I press the tab key. It's giving me the complete name of that uh, document. And that's what the advantage of using this JS bin. It provides intelligence and autocomplete features. Now let me show you the intelligence part. It's very simple. Now, uh, how can I identify this H1 tag? Because we have two adding tags here. How can I identify this adding tag with the help of ID? So document is having a method called get element you can observe here now I did not type like get element by ID completely now when I press tab it's giving me a intelligence okay now I have to select this one get element by ID the ID is demo okay and after that I need to call a property called inner HTML because I need the text which is present within this tag within the h1 element so uh, in order to get that inner text present here, I have to call one property that is inner HTML. Okay. Now, when I run with JavaScript, you can observe we got an alert box with the content what H1 is having, that is Angpro Technologies. This is what the advantage of using the jsbin.com, okay, where you can write uh, JavaScript and test the JavaScript and the advantages are intelligence and autocomplete features and type the partial name it gives the complete one okay and keep in mind in this video series in this JavaScript video series I'm going to use the text editor uh, as or the code editor is Visual Studio Code and the browsers based on the scenarios I'll be using Chrome, Firefox or Edge okay and what is this Visual Studio Code it's a text editor or you can also call it a code editor okay Visual Studio Code is the first code editor and first cross-platform development tool which is supporting Linux, Mac and Windows operating system okay now uh, this is my Visual Studio Code you can observe here very clearly and this is what the code present here I've copied it earlier okay uh, now, I'm, I'm, now I'm going back and I'm refreshing I'm refreshing this page you can observe the same output welcome to JavaScript tutorial this is what the code present here like welcome to JavaScript tutorial and this is the Visual Studio code I'll be using in my this video series to work with the JavaScript okay and finally in this session we learned like what are the things need to work with the JavaScript and what are the online websites where you can work where you can write and test the JavaScript code and also I told you like in this video series JavaScript video series I'll be using this editor Visual Studio code as my editor and these are the browsers which I'll be using okay and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Ang Pro Training. you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further references refer our website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day